um, like racial discrimination or anything? Actually, um, I have faced racial discrimination. Mm -hmm. um, I've had a few stories in my life that have had a pretty big impact on me. Um, once when I was little, this was actually from another Desi person. Um, wow. <laughs> she um, found out I was Indian. And she came up to me and she said, oh, I heard you're Indian, so, um, but I don't believe you. So I was like, what do you want me to do to prove to you that I'm Indian? She's like, let me smell your arm. I was like, why do you want to smell my arm? <laughs> and she's like, well, if I smell your arm and if you smell that, I'm going to know that you're Indian. Are you and I was serious? like, I can't believe you just said that. So she smelled my arm and she's like, yeah, you're Indian. And I was like, oh my god, <laughs> what does that mean? So, you know, something like that. Um, and then I've had um, a kid in fifth grade, a classmate of mine that I used to be friends with, he uh -huh. told me once that, uh, he told me once, go back to your country. And it was for such a little thing, I think, because I took the jump rope he wanted. He's like, yeah, just go back to your country and take all your people back with you. Or um, actually, something happened to me pretty recently uh -huh. that was um, pretty intense situation. Um, I was with a Sardar friend of mine that I hadn't seen in a while. And we went to a restaurant. And we were eating our food and minding our own business, talking. And we saw up ahead, two tables ahead, that there was a group of, uh, a group of American people um, and a group of Punjabi guys. And for some reason, these two groups started to fight. And I don't know why they were fighting, but uh, eventually they got kicked out of the restaurant. And we finished our meals, and we were walking outside of the restaurant and we saw them fighting and we're like, well, we're just gonna mind our own business and we're gonna walk to our cars. So as we made our way to the car, mm -hmm. um, while we were walking to the car, someone screamed out, yeah, take your dirty turban out of our restaurant. And I literally stopped in my track because I couldn't believe what this person had just said, such an ignorant comment. And my Sardar friend, he just kept walking and I'm like, what are you doing? Did you just hear what they said? And he's like, just keep walking. I hear stuff like this all the time because he's from, um, he's from Ohio. Okay. And apparently this happens to him on a daily basis. Wow. So he was so used to it, it didn't even bother him. But for me, I don't hear it that often. So I couldn't take it. I was really angry and I wanted to confront the person because I just thought their comment was so ignorant. So I went up to the person and I said, why would you say something like that? That was a really ignorant comment. And he's like, well, I wasn't saying it to you, so you should just mind your business and walk away. And I told him, well, the same religion that he is, that's my religion, and that really hurt my feelings. And I guess he felt bad, and he didn't say anything after that, and I just walked away. And it, when I went home, it hurt me so much, I couldn't believe that he would say something like that. I, I cried. It really hurt me. Wow. But I'm glad I said something to him. How long least. ago was this? This is maybe like two months ago. Wow, so this is yeah. recent. Very recent. You know, it's amazing, because especially with you, both of you, you were born here, you are raised yeah. here, and when someone makes a comment like that, mm -hmm. go back to your country, yeah. this is my country, where do exactly. you want me to go back? Exactly, this is my country, here. I was born here, yeah, just like you were born here, I was born here, this is where I've been, I live here. Exactly, you know, like you said, they're just ignorant, and mm -hmm. some people don't know the difference between the two, right. but you just have to be able to stand up for yourself, and I know Trisha has spoken to us about this in the past, if you know what your roots are, you know where you're coming from, Yeah. No matter what anyone says, it won't phase you out. You just mm -hmm. got to be a strong believer yeah. in it. Yeah, so. I agree. And Jasmine is such a sweet person. Like, <laughs> she would never argue with anybody. So when she told me this story the next day, my jaw literally dropped. Wow. Like, I couldn't believe this. I was like, Jasmine, let's go find these people. I want to have a little talk with them. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go to put my dukes up. That is interesting, though. I find that very amazing. Yeah. But you know what? It's good that you guys are strong enough that you can step up and say, you know what? And this you know, is who I am. For okay. my Sardar friend, I felt so bad that you know, on a daily basis, he faces these comments and stuff like that. For him, it was just nothing. Yeah. It didn't even bother him. He's like, forget it. I hear this stuff all the time. I don't care. And for me, I was just like, huh? 